my name is B Santosh Kumar, Assistant Professor, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering. My subject is image processing. Today I am discussing about definitions and the terminology on image enhancement. So, what is spatial uh, spatial domain? Define spatial domain. So, the spatial domain is nothing but a, it is a plane spanned by the coordinates of the image is called the spatial domain. An image can be represented in the form of a 2D matrix where each element of the matrix represents pixel intensity. This state of 2D matrices that depict the intensity distribution of an image is called a spatial domain. Okay, so uh, what is the spatial domain? Spatial domain is a very very important role in the image enhancement. So, actually, what is the image enhancement? So we have to need any modifications, or we have to reduce the noises, and we have to use some filters, any of the thing. So, image enhancement is a process for doing any reduction of noises or filters, anything. So, actually, there are two types of uh, image enhancements are there: spatial domain and the frequency domain. But here, majorly, we are discussing about the spatial domain. So uh, here we are discussing about one question: What is defined spatial domain? So it is a real plane spanned by the coordinates of an image is called the spatial domain, and it can be represented in the form of 2D matrix where each element of the matrix represents pixel intensity, and uh, the state of 2D matrices that depict the intensity distribution of an image is called a spatial domain. Here one figure is there. It is a, uh, it is the a. Suppose a I am taking it is b. So grayscale to 2D matrix. Here grayscale means suppose I am taking the image. So it is a 3 by 3. Grayscale means it is the black and white cells are there, pixels are there. So these pixels I am taking as a what are the intensity levels are there? Suppose this pixel is completely black suppose i'm taking so maybe it is some 127 or 120 like this so here whitish is there so i'm taking is it is a here i'm taking is a 235 so it is completely white 54 means it is not completely black or not completely white so it is going to be black going to be black that means 54 is uh, it is near by going to zero here zero is nothing but a black one is nothing but a white so when I am taking the 0 is black. So between 0 to 256. So that is 255. 0 to 255 pixels are there. That means total 256 pixels. So total 256 pixels are there. So 0 is nothing but black and 1 is nothing but white. 0 to 255 means 256 pixels are there. Suppose uh, is the 250, the pixel is 255 means it is completely white. 0 means it is completely black. So, here 54 means it is going to be 0. Okay. So, maybe it is reached to black. 85 is also reaching to black. It is nothing but a uh, combination of white and black here. Here 162 means somewhat better of white. So, 235 means it is completely white. It is complete white. See here it is completely white. So, 128, 170. So, what is the meaning of this one means? Here, 0. 0 means what is the meaning of 0? Already I know. 0 is nothing but a black. Here we can see 0. So, it is a black. So, I am taking is a 2 by 2, uh, 2 by uh, 2 by 2 matrix. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, 2, 2 rows and 9 columns are there. 2 by 9. So, these are the intensity levels are there. So, what are the intensity level of the image that I am taking as a 2D matrix? It is taking as a 2D matrix. Why? Because x dimension and y. So it is a x coordinates and y coordinates. So uh, when I am taking 0 is nothing but a black, 1 is nothing but a white. Here 1 is nothing but a 255. So complete, if the pixel value is 255, that is a white. If it is reducing to 255, it is reducing means it is reaching to black. So 0 to increasing value is nothing but a, it is going to black to white. So like this. Suppose I am taking 0 is a black and 255 is a white. Suppose it is going to 0 to 0 to 255. That means black to white. Here 255 to 0 example. That is means white is going to be black. Okay. So 
zero value is increasing means black to white. Two two fifty five value is decreasing means it is going to white to black. Why? Because here I'm zero equal to black, two fifty equal to white. So here also like this. So when I'm going to be gray scale, gray scale means it is a combination of black and white color. So when I'm going to the black and white color of the combination, this is a gray scale image and it is a two D matrix. So in the two D matrix, I'm taking as a x dimension and y dimension. So these are the values of pixel intensity values. So what are the range of pixel intensity means zero to two fifty five. That means total two fifty six intensity values are there. So specify the objective of image enhancement technique. The objective of image enhancement technique is to process an image so that the result is more suitable than the original image for a particular application. So. There are two categories of image enhancement: direct manipulation of picture and image, frequency domain method based on modifying the image by Fourier transform. So, if I'm taking specifying the objective of image enhancement technique, so well, what is the specify? We are specifying it. The question is that specify the objective of image enhancement technique. So, what is the objective for enhancement technique? It is a process an image. The result is more suitable than the original image. For a particular application, so the objective of enhancement is to process an image so that the result is more suitable. The result is more suitable than the original image for a particular application. So when I am taking the image enhancement, uh, we are resulting is that it is suitable to for the original image input to output. So input to output. So what is that means? It is similar. F equal to F dash equal to similar. That is the enhancement. So, what are the two categories of image enhancement? So, direct manipulation of picture element. Suppose if any any of the picture is there, we have to direct manipulation. So, direct manipulation means we have to implement some methods. Direct method apply. So, what is the problem? What is noise? Uh, we are reducing noise. We are using some applications, or we are using some method. For that, this one, that is a direct manipulation picture image. So, direct manipulation of the picture image. That is a uh, category. Another one is a frequency domain method based on modifying the image by Fourier transform. So, any of the image, we are using some transformation technique to reduce transformation technique to reduce noise. So, what is the transformation techniques we are using? Okay. So, depends on your noise. Okay. Depends on your noise. We have to use filter. So transformation is nothing but a Fourier transform uh, and a fast Fourier transform and a Laplace transform. We are using some transformation techniques uh, to reducing the noise of the original image. So Fourier transform or Fourier uh, Fourier domain is nothing but a we are using some Fourier technique, Fourier transform technique to reducing the noise. So spatial domain also a technique to reducing noise, but another technique is a Fourier. So if I'm not if I'm not using using spatial domain, what is the method means? Direct manipulation. Direct manipulation. Another technique is nothing but a frequency domain. So in the spatial domain, two methods: direct manipulation. Another one is a frequency domain. So. Here, these are the two categories of image enhancement. Not only spatial domain, image enhancement. So, what is gray level slicing? One 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 question is there. That is, what is gray level slicing? Gray level slicing is nothing but we are highlighting a specific range of gray levels in an image. is called gray level slicing. Suppose I am taking one image. The coordinates are x and y. So highlighting a specific range of gray levels. Suppose I am taking here 256, 256, two, sorry 255, 255, 255 like this. So we are specifying some range. So here the my range is 0 to 255. So we are highlighting a specific range of gray levels. What are the gray levels means? Black and white. So of an image is called a gray level slicing. Okay. We are highlighting the specific range. Suppose I am taking what is the range? Suppose 101 to 255. I am taking one range. Okay. So, like this are called gray level slicing. 
uh, specific range is there that is a slicing if you are not uh, ranging is there that is a gray level limits range gray level range so uh, another is a define masking so what is a masking region of interest region of interest or a operations is commonly called as a masking so masking is a 2d array in which the values of mask coefficient determine the nature of process so define masking region of interest or i operations is commonly called as masking and mask is the small 2d array in which the values of mask coefficient determine the nature of process that is a mask and what is a gray level means we are range of gray levels that is and masking is that is a region of interest that is commonly called as a masking and it is a 2d array in which the values of mask coefficients determine the nature of process okay another one is a image averaging image averaging is a technique that is often employed to enhance video images that have been corrupted by random noise so this image is there this image is corrupted or due to noise corrupted or noise occurred so the averaging is technique that often employed to enhance video images that have been corrupted by random noise so what are the video images are there those are corrupted or uh, uh, those are noises occurred that is called image averaging and what are the applications of image enhancement so there are so many applications are there in the image enhancement but randomly we are taking some examples uh, deblurring the images contrast adjustment brighten an image smooth and sharpen okay these are the applications of image enhancement suppose deblurring means suppose one image is there that is a blurring so blurring is a noise or not yes blurring is a noise so um, shall we have to reduce a noise yes we have to reduce a noise how we are reducing so after reducing that is called deblurring so how deblurring is called noise is completed to denoises denoises nothing but a filter okay so when we apply the filter technique to the blurred image that is called deblurring of the image so this process is called image enhancement so blurring of noise denoise filter so what is happening means input is a noise output is a denoise so between what is happening this process what is a process noise to denoising blurring to unblurring this process is called enhancement this process is called image enhancement this process is called image enhancement another one is a contrast adjustment contrast means suppose if any any of the image if this image has a 255 this image is a 126 like this suppose i have to reduce to zero i have to uh, uh, reduce to zero or i have to reduce the, this one zero suppose they, this i have 126 i have to change to 255 it is changed to zero so is it possible as yes, it is possible so when it is 126 is reached to 255 that means it is white 255 is reached to 0 that is called it is a black so this pixel is converted to the black this pixel is converted to the white so is it possible as contrast adjustment means uh, pixel intensities are changed so is it image enhancement as yes, this process is called image enhancement so image enhancement is nothing but a, we are adjusting the pixel intensities from the input that is called intensities and brighten an image brighten means we are increasing the values suppose this pixel have completely 0 50 75 90 and it is some 60 50 40 and is 126 like this so brighten the image brighten means i have to improve the 255 it is improve the some 250 it is improving the 240 why because i am increasing the brightness brightness means i have to convert into the white brightness means going to be white so black to white black to white smooth and sharpen if any of the image i have to go for the smoothening and sharpening so what is the use of smoothening and sharpening means uh, 
we are uh, identifying image some blood image or suppose some background is not good or some segmentations are not uh, visible to the human so what we have to do means uh, smoothening and sharpening of the image then we have to find out what is the uh, segmentation what is the image that one is there so suppose i have one background lines are there so i have one particular cap that had that in in that cap some black lines are there so uh, from human visible it is not showing so when i'm applying the smoothening in the cap the black lines will be uh, showing suppose one person is there this person has a black cap is there so this cap is a black lines are there so it is not showing when i'm applying the smoothing it is visible it is visible so these are the applications so what are the applications which deblurring the image so blurring is converting to the deblurring that is a image enhancement and a contrast adjustment brightening brightness of the image and smoothing and sharpening etc so some more are there but we are example i am taking so image smoothing here we discussed the smoothing so every of the application we are discussing uh, briefly so image smoothing is a digital image processing technique that reduces and suppresses the image noises commonly seen smoothing filters include average smoothing gaussian smoothing and adaptive smoothing image sharpening filters highlight the edges by removing the blurring and these are the smoothing and sharpening okay so these are completely smoothing and sharpening mm -hmm. so what is smoothing means it is a digital image to reduce the or suppressing the noises reduce noise and commonly it include the average smoothing gaussian smoothing and adaptive music so these are the some examples average smoothing gaussian and adaptive uh, smoothing to reducing the noise so another one is a sharpening so sharpening filters are nothing but a highlighting the edges remove blur or and highlight the edges removing removing the blurrings or highlighting the edges so removing blurrings so already we know that what are the applications of means so removing blurring also some image enhancement so with the help of uh, sharpening and uh, smoothing sharpening we are uh, reducing the blurrings and highlighting the edges in the smoothing we are reducing the noises and another one is a noise removal how we are er reducing the noise removal means noises are introduced to image to the point of capture from cameras printing and during the transmission and the terms of image processing noises can be identified with a variance of intensity from its neighbor pixels so what is a noise and how we are reducing means uh, actually commonly noise how we are creating created the noise how introduced the noise means uh, it is the point of capture from cameras so when, when we are capturing the image from the camera so camera to capturing the image maybe the uh, noise will be upward or in the printing or during the transmission transmission means uh, 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 transmission to receiving uh, see so we are sending uh, image from source to destination so in this we are maybe the noise will be occur so in terms of image processing noises can be identified with a variance of intensity from the neighbor pixels and uh, there are uh, various types of noises for example gaussian noise changes each pixel by a usually small amount and uh, salt and pepper noise that is impulse noise randomly scatters white or black pixels over the image and the noise removal technique reduces the visibility of noises by smoothing the image using linear and non linear filters so what are the noises already we discussed in the previous uh, maybe in the transmission maybe in the printer maybe in the capturing the image from the source maybe the, the noise will be occurred but uh, various types of noises means for example i am taking gaussian noise it gaussian noise is nothing but uh, we are changing each pixel by a usually small amount 
that is called salt and pepper noise it is also called impulse noise randomly scatters white or black pixels over the image so i am taking various noises are there so depends on your noise i am using the filter so suppose what is the noise you have to recognize then only i will use the filters okay suppose there are uh, different noises are there gaussian noise each pixel by usually small amount so gaussian noise means small amount of small amount of noise that is a gaussian noise and uh, salt and pepper noise that is a impulse noise and randomly scattered or white or black pixels of the over the image so if i am taking the any of the pixel this pixel black white or black pixels over the image in the scattering of the image black or white any of the black or white is dominating the noises that is called random scatters or impulse noises okay so salt and pepper noise is different white or black uh, scattering noise is different and the gaussian noise is different okay depends on your uh, type of noise uh, we have to use the filters so noise removal technique reduce the visibility of noises by smoothing the image using linear non linear filters okay so already i discussed uh, depends on your noise depends on your noise we have to use the filters so what is the use of filters means removing the noise removing the noise that is a technique okay so noise removal is a technique to reduce the visibility of noises by smoothing the image using linear and non linear so what is smoothing and sharpening so smoothing and doesn't but yeah reduce the noise sharpening is not but yeah removing the blurrings removing the blurrings or highlighting the edges so that is the sharpening here also i am removing the reduce the visibility of noises by smoothing the image is here using a linear and non linear filter so filters are two types linear and non linear so where you am using linear where i'm non using non linear means depends on your type of noise or percentage of noise i have to use uh, type of filter that is a linear or non linear so another one is a gray scale image histogram equalization so what is gray scale image of histogram equalization so histogram equalization refers to the transformation where an output image has approximately the same number of pixels at each gray level that is the histogram of output is uniformly distributed so gray scale image histogram in nothing but a histogram equalization what is a histogram and what is a histogram equalization so gray scale is nothing but it is clear about when the image is in black and white when the image in the form of black and white then only i have to use the histogram so histogram equalization refers to the transformation where an output image where an output image has approximately the same number of pixels at each gray level that is the histogram of the output is uniformly distributed so histogram is nothing but a transformation transformation where an output image has approximately the same number of pixels at each gray level so is i am taking the this uh, this uh, pixel has a black and white is there so this output has approximately the same number of pixels so how many uh, number of pixels are there any of the image we have to take the same number of pixels are there that is in the form of gray level gray level is nothing but a black or white that is a histogram of the output histogram of the output it is uniformly distributed uniformly means balanced black and white pixels are balanced balancedly distributed that is a histogram equalization so how many types of image enhancement techniques are there so how many types of image enhancement techniques up to now we discussed what is a image enhancement image enhancement is nothing but a input to output input is a noisy output is a noiseless input is a blur blurred output is a unblurred unblurred so noise is to the noiseless blurring into the unblurred and uh, smoothing and sharpening so input to output f of x and f dash of x so between the f of x to f of f dash of x what is the process is going on that is called the image enhancement input to output what is the process is going on what is the process be done 
that is called image enhancement so image enhancement means nothing but uh, remove noise is removed and that means noises uh, are there we are used to some mask we are using some filter techniques to remove the noises that is called enhancement so was input to output input image and output image is there so input to output what is what was done what is the process is going on that is called enhancement so what is the process is there means there are two types of processes are there to remove the noises from input to output suppose input f, f of x output is f dash of x so here f of x equal to f dash of x f of x equal to f dash x what is the, what is the difference maybe in between f of x to f dash x the baby the noise has occurred we removed between the f of x to f dash of x that is the process of image enhancement so in the image enhancement we done two methods we are applied two methods that is spatial domain technique frequency domain technique so spatial domain technique is nothing but a manipulating the pixels intensity directly frequency domain technique which modify the fourier transform so in the spatial domain manipulating pixel intensities so any of the image you have to take so any of the image you have to take suppose here 126 here 20 like this suppose i have to change to 255 126 i have to change zero so when we are changing the intensity values we are changing the intensity values directly manipulating the intensity values that is called the spatial domain Frequency domain means we are modifying the Fourier transform, means applying the technique. Technique applied to remove noise. The technique is applied to remove the noise, that is the frequency domain. So, majorly enhancement technique is uh, two types, uh, two are divided, uh, two types are there spatial domain and the frequency domain. So, it is spatial domain, figure A, and it is a figure B, uh, for, for frequency domain. So, here what is the input frequency spatial, what is the output uh, frequency domain. So, here input to output, spatial domain to frequency domain is converted. Is it, is it possible? Yes. When I am applying the transformation technique, that is the Fourier transform. And not only Fourier transform, any other transformation technique. So, Transformation technique. Transformation technique. Transformation technique is applied to convert to spatial domain to frequency domain. So, transformation technique we are applied. So, any of the transformation, Fourier transform, Laplace transform, fast Fourier transform, any of the transformation technique is applied to convert the spatial domain into the frequency domain. That is the, that is a method of spatial domain to frequency domain. So, filters. What are the filters? What is the use of filters? Filters are nothing but removing the noise. So, filters are nothing but remove removing removing the noises or blurrings etc so that is the filters so if you know the which type of noise is occurred in the image then only we have to use the suitable filter for that one that is the filter so filter in spatial domain so not in the frequency domain is tough as in the frequency domain the filters are changed and in the spatial domain the filters are changed so in the spatial domain what are the filters i am using means when in the spatial domain what are the filters i am applying that is called a spatial filter in the spatial domain when the filters are applied to the spatial domain that is a spatial filters so spatial filters used different masks that is kernels templates or windows there is a one to one correspondence between linear space filter and in frequency domain okay the spatial filters can be used in linear and non linear filtering that is a frequency domain just for linear filtering okay already we know that linear filter 
non-linear filters. So filters are two types. I am taking majorly two types filters. That is a linear and non-linear. So spatial filters in the different masks. Mask. Mask is nothing but a, it is a one type of filter. In the filter we are uh, using mask technique used for noise method or a noise or filter or in filter. Okay. So spatial filters used in different masks that is kernel, template or windows. There is a one to one correspondence between linear spatial filter and uh, filters in frequency domain. So, spatial filters can be used for linear and non-linear filtering. So, frequency domain filters just for linear filtering. So, filters are linear and non-linear, but uh, frequency domain filters are only for linear filtering. So, frequency is for only linear, but spatial domain is using for linear filtering and also for non-linear filtering. So, the mechanics of spatial filtering consist of neighborhood that means small rectangle another is a predefined operation that is performed on the image pixel uh, that is a two types of filter in spatial filtering so what are the mechanics means what are the basic types of filters are using it consists of first one is a neighborhood small rectangle another one is a predefined operation that is performed on the image pixel we will discuss so filtering creates new pixel with the coordinates equal to the coordinates of the center of the neighborhood and whose values is the result of the filter operation okay so filters creates new pixel uh, suppose suppose is 255 0 125 uh, 60 70 some 10 and 5 0 220 180 170 like this so it is a noisy Noiseless means what I have to do, I have to change the pixel intensity values. Okay, maybe it is changed to 0, 0 is converted to 255, so it is uh, 70, it is 80, 125 to uh, some 20, so like this. So we have to change the pixels. So filter creates a new pixel, it is a new pixel. New pixel means uh, we have changed the intensity values of the coordinates of the pixel. And that is uh, maybe I am changing to 3 by 2, 3 pixel to the 4 by 4 like this. Maybe some depends on type of noise. So pixel with the coordinates equal to the coordinates of the center of the neighborhood and whose values in the result of the filtering operation. That is the mechanics of spatial filtering. So spatial filter technique is used directly on pixels of an image. Mosque is usually considered to be added in size so that it has specific center pixel. This mask is removed on the image such that the center of the mask traverses all the image pixels okay so spatial filter is a nothing but a, it is a technique directly on the pixels already we know that what is the spatial domain directly changing the intensity values of the image that is a spatial domain okay directly we are changing the pixels or pixel intensity values okay here i am technique is a mask technique i am using in the filter i am applying the mask to the image what is image spatial domain image is usually considered to be added in size so that it has specific center pixel this mask is moved on the image such that the center of the mask transverses all the images pixels okay suppose i'm taking okay so it is the input image and it is a mask I am using. This mask is a maybe 2 by 2 or sometimes I am taking as a 3 by 3. So this mask is applied here. Okay. I am applied the mask here. Okay. So above uh, in the in the top of the image, I applied the mask. It is a mask with 3 by 3 size. Okay. So this 3 by 3 uh, pixel uh, mask is applied to this one. So then it will be checking the intensity values. If there any noise is corrupted, 
then these intensity values will be changed. So what are the intensity values are there here? It will be changed when mask is uh, uh, identifying the no noise is there in the original. Yes, if the noise uh, is there in the original intensities, suppose the intensity values are changed. How means maybe in the noise is occurred, then intensity values will be changed. So we have to uh, changing the intensity values with the help of mask. So here mask is moved on the image. It is an image, it is removed. Suppose after then the mask is applied here. After then mask is applied here. After then mask is applied here. Applied here like this. Okay. So we are moving the image such that the center of the mask traverses in all the image pixels. That is a spatial filtering. So what are the classifications on the basis of linearity? The question is, what are the classifications on the basis of linearity? So in the linearity, in the non-linearity, I'm talking about linearity. There are two types of there, linear spatial, non-linear spatial. But in the frequency domain, frequency domain, only linear filter. Linear filter. But in the uh, but in the li uh, linearity in the spatial domain spatial filtering linear spatial filter non-linear spatial filter so majorly spatial domain filters are linear filtering non-linear filtering but in the especially in that linearity linear spatial non-linear spatial in the linear two types linear spatial non-linear spatial So, linear spatial and non-linear spatials in the linearity of that one. So, what are the classifications? In the one question is there in the definition in the terminology, what are the classifications on the basis of linearity? There are two types, linear spatial filter, non-linear spatial filter. But in the frequency domain, only one type, that is a linear filtering. There is no non-linear filtering. And if the operation is performed on the pixel, image pixel is linear, then the filter is called a linear spatial filter. If in the image pixel in the linear, then it is called linear spatial filtering. In the an image is in the form of linear then this image is called linear spatial filtering otherwise it is non-linear if the image is not the linear then it is called non-linear otherwise so the operation is performed on the image pixel linear then the filter is called linear spatial otherwise it is a non-linear filter so next figure representing the mechanics of linear spatial filtering that is a 3 by 3 neighbor and the response of output is a g of x comma y of the filter of any or any point x comma y suppose i am taking input is a f of x comma y and output is a g of x comma y so what is input f of x comma y what is a g of x comma y it is a linear filtering applied linear filter okay and uh, output we didn't get so in between the f of x f of x comma y g of x comma y f of x comma y g of x comma y f dash of x comma y. So it is the input. It is the output. In between g of x comma y is the filtering process. Filtering process for removing for removing noises. Okay. So input is f of x comma y. Output is f dash of x comma y. In between what is happening means g of x comma y is going on between the f of x comma y and f dash of x comma y. So what is the g of x comma y is nothing but we are applied the filtering intermediate state. It is a filtering technique. 
uh, is applied that is removing the noises okay so here the linear spatial filter has a 3 by 3 neighborhood and the response of the output is g of x combined output is g of x combined input is uh, f of x combined and uh, the filter is at any point of x combined so what is process means uh, filtering in between the f of x comma y g of x comma y the filtering is applied okay and in the image of the sum of the products of the filter coefficients and the image pixel values are origin origin means i am taking 3 by 3 3 by 3 neighborhood these are the 3 by 3 cells that is x comma y it is a image spatial domain okay so any of the intensity values i am taking 127 0 uh, 70 256 mm -hmm. like this suppose uh, here some white is there i am taking maybe 255 255 255 like this okay so 0 120 80 like this so maybe the pixel values are there due to the noise the intensity values are changed so what we have to do we are going for the original values of the intensities that is we have to change to the change the intensities to the original values that is also called the spatial filtering okay and it is a 3 by 3 neighborhood of x comma by image f spatial domain g of x comma equal to w of minus 1 comma minus 1 f of uh, x minus 1 comma y minus 1 plus uh, w of minus 1 comma 0 so it is the coordinates of 3 by 3 means uh, how many are there 1 2 3 4 so 2 cube means how many possibilities are there 8 possibilities are there so 8 possibilities are there here and we are observing the center coefficient of the filter is w of 0 comma 0 and the pixels are the location x comma y and the mask size is m into n so pixel is f of x comma y and w of m comma n is a mask it is an input image and it is a mask size maybe 3 by 3 4 by 4 like this so what is the equation for mask equal to m equal to 2a plus 1 or 2b plus 1 if it is a linear spatial of image that is m into n and the filter size is m into n is given by the expression g of x comma y equal to summation of s equal to minus a to a t equal to minus b to b w of s comma t into f of x plus s comma y plus t where x and y are varied so the each pixel in w visits the every pixel in f so these are the origins of the filter i am taking this is the input image okay and it is a mask size mask is a 3 by 3 size okay so it is a mask coordinates coordinates of mask okay these are the input values okay so figure one is a uh, image input image input image means original image with mask applied here output uh, these are the coordinates of mask and these are the coordinates of uh, input image so it is a spatial correlation and a convolution so what is the functionality of mask mask is an image processing method in which we define a small or image piece and use it to modify a larger image masking is a process that is underneath many types of image processing including edge detection motion detection and noise reduction a mask is a binary image uh, consisting of zero and uh, non zero values if a mask is applied to another binary or to a grayscale image of the size all pixels which are zero in the mask are said to be zero of the output so what is a mask mask is applied for filters for filters to remove the noise to remove the noise okay so functionality of mask masking is an image process method in which we define a small image piece and use it to modify a larger uh, image masking is a process that is underneath the many types of image processing including edge detection motion detection and the noise reduction a mask is a binary image consisting of zero and non-zero values okay zero values means i'm taking the binary value zero non-zero means uh, i'm taking the values of uh, one so if a mask is applied to another binary it is to a grayscale image of the small same size the pixels which are uh, to be the mask are said to be zero in the output image and what are the uses of mask for blurring okay mask is blurring is nothing but it is a noise okay uh, unblurring so unblurring 
using mask. So or remove the noise. So use of mask. What is the use? What is the use of mask? So it is the process or in this process of blurring we reduce the edge content in an image and try to make the transitions between different pixel intensities as smooth as possible. Noise reduction is also possible with the help of blurring and forcing or faking eye contact during the conversations and imitating smiles and other facial expressions, mimicking gestures, hiding the minimizing personal interests and developing a uh, reportedly or rehearsed response to questions. So, what is a mask? The mask is used for blurring, not only for blurring, there are several applications are there. So, in this process, blurring we reduce the edge content in an image and try to make the transitions between the different pixel intensities as smooth as possible. Noise reduction is also possible with the help of blurring. And uh, forcing or faking eye contact during conversations and imitating smiles and other facial expressions and mimicking gestures, hiding or minimizing uh, personal interests, developing a reputation or rehearsed responses to the questions. So these are about the mask. These are about the mask for blurrings. And what are the general classification? Smoothing, spatial filtering, uh, is a one major thing of the general smoothing and sharpening is a major classifications of uh, uh, spatial filtering. First one is a smoothing spatial filter. So, what are the general classifications? Smoothing spatial filter. Smoothing filter is used for blurring and noise reduction in the image. Already we know that. What is the use of smoothing means? Smoothing spatial filter is used for blurring or noise reduction and uh, blurring is a pre-processing step for uh, removal of small details and the noise reduction in accomplished by blurring. And the types of smoothing spatial filters, linear filtering and uh, order statistic that is a non-linear. Okay. Linear So, there are uh, two general classifications are there, smoothing spatial filter, sharpening spatial filter. Smoothing spatial filter is used for blurring and noise reduction and the blurring is pre-processing step for removal of small details and the noise reduction is accomplished by blurring. So, type of smoothing spatial filters are two types, linear filter and non-linear filter. <coughs> so, define mean filter. Linear spatial filter is simply the average of the pixels contained in the neighborhood of the filter mask. And the idea is replacing the value of every pixel in an image by the averaging of gray levels in the neighborhood defined by the filter mask and uh, multiplied by higher values of the average filter that is the mean filter. And uh, what are the types of mean filters? Averaging filter, weighted average filter. So, weighted and mean filter are the linearity or linear spatial domain filtering or a linear smoothing spatial filter. So, averaging filter is used in reduction of detail in image, all coefficients are equal. Weighted average filter in these pixels are multiplied by different coefficients, center pixels is multiplied by higher values than the average. So, what is the order statistic filter? Order statistic is nothing but yeah, it is based on ordering the pixel contained in the image area encompassed, encompassed by the filter and it is replacing the value of the center pixel with the value determined by the ranking result. Edges are better preserved in this filter. So order statistic is one type of linear filter based on order statistic the image is accomplished by a filter and it is replaces the value of center pixel with the value determined by the ranking result. Edges are better preserved. So what are the edges are there? These are the better preserved in the filtering.
So what are the types of water statistic? Minimum filtering and maximum filtering. So minimum filter is nothing but a 0 at the percent of filter is the minimum filter and the value of the center is replaced by the smallest value of the filter. Maximum means 100 at the percentile filter is the maximum filter and the value of the center is replaced by the largest value. So order statistic filters are two types in linear spatial So minimum filter and maximum filter. Minimum filter means nothing but a zero at the percentile filter is minimum filter and the value of the center is replaced by the smallest value of the filter. Maximum filter is nothing but a hundred at the percentile filter is the maximum filter and the value of the center is replaced by the largest value in the window. So these are about the uh, basics of uh, spatial filtering and uh, spatial domain in the image enhancement. Okay, thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.